And the reality is still present. More people in our community are struggling to feed their families. WGEM's Isabel Rossi is live at Horizon Soup Kitchen in Quincy to explain how the Empty Bowls fundraiser can help, but why COVID-19 is making it difficult. Right, Isabel? That's right, Don. I'm here right now at Horizons this morning where organizers I spoke to say they've seen the need in the community almost double in the past year since the beginning of the pandemic. And they say they want to be able to keep helping any person that comes here looking for that help. Organizers that I spoke to say normally thousands of people gather at the Quincy High School cafeteria for the Empty Bowls fundraiser to share a meal and spend time as a community, but not this year because the event will be virtual due to COVID-19. Now organizers worry the, the event won't get as much attention from the community, which could mean fewer donations. Since it normally is such a um, like personal event, Empty Bowls, um, and a really cool way to see the community come together, um, I, I really hope we don't see a decrease in support, but I do think it's possible. Organizers say this event usually brings in between seven and ten thousand dollars each year to help the food pantry and soup kitchens stay stocked. Right now, organizers say they hope any local organizations or businesses will help them to fill in those gaps left behind by the fundraiser. Live in Quincy, I'm Isabella Rossi, WGEM News. Isabel, thank you. Here's some more information on this. The Empty Bowls fundraiser is happening right now. So it's all virtual, as you all know, and you can find a link to donate online at WGEM.com.